this technique we're going to look to derotate the shoulder. So this is for your athletes who are getting problems with end range external rotation. So your, your throwing athletes or your tennis players or even contact sport athletes involved in uh, tackling. So what we're going to do first is lay down some hyperfix anchors. So just ask the patient to take hold of the end of the hyperfix. I'm going to lay this down to give a good bonding surface. So staying away from the nipple. I'm going to come over so the middle of the hyperfix is going over the AC joint and coming down to the mid scapula at the back. Okay. I'm going to lay down another couple of smaller strips just because this is where the anchors are going to end up from the technique. And obviously if your patient's got quite a hairy chest it's worth them shaving the hair down before this technique is to allow the tape to bond better. And you may want to spray them down with pre-tape adhesive before the technique too. Okay. So to ensure you get equal pressure through this technique, you want to make sure that the patient's got the hand on the hip. So that means that the shoulder's internally rotated and the shoulder blade is set down in neutral. And then we can start the technique. So the first anchor is going to go from mid-pec, bang over your AC joint. And it's going to finish in the mid scapular area. The second anchor, which is going to be an incomplete ring of the upper arm. If you want to do a complete ring to lock it off, you need to go around the mid bicep. Okay? So there's the two anchors for the technique. So we're going to start over the pec. And we're going to come down across the anterior joint line and around to the back of the tricep. And we're going to interweave this technique. Strip from the back as well. Okay. So you want to half overlock what you just did. Working up the joint. Okay. So we're using the rigid tape. It's going to give you a rigid end feel. To the strapping. You can just use the elastic tape on its own as well, but that'll give you a more dynamic end feel, so it'll give you a bit of a springy end feel to the technique. Okay, so that's all the strips finished. So now you want to redo your anchors but slightly offset. So again, Starting a little bit lower than you did on your first one, tracking over the AC joint, coming a little bit above that back anchor, and again slightly above where you did your initial anchor, again coming over the AC joint and finishing on the back. Okay, you need to ask your patient now to contract the bicep, so if you squeeze your bicep, good. Okay, you're going to do a complete loop. It's not necessary to put any more tension on that tape other than just to flush it down with the skin. Okay, so that's the rigid part of the technique finished. Okay, but to give the technique strength, you need to add your EAB tape. Okay, so starting on the back of the shoulder, okay, we're going to come forward applying about a 10% stretch, coming down over the AC joint, and we're going to loop under the arm. Okay. I'm going to ask the patient now to keep the bicep contracted. I'm going to loop back around okay, and come back over the front of the shoulder. Okay. Don't apply any tension to the last two inches of the tape. That way it allows it to stick down without wanting to roll back up. So that's layer one. Layer two, half overlaps the first one. Comes down. Again, ask your patient to contract the bicep. But this time you're going to loop around the bicep, okay? And you're going to again half overlapping what you did on the first lap, and you're going to track over the front of the shoulder joint. Again, applying 10% stretch. Okay. So just allow that to not be stretched at the end of the technique. Smooth it down. Okay, we've got one layer to go. The last one is just a spiral on the arm. Okay, so again, ask your patient to contract the bicep. We're looping up and over. 
okay? Coming over the AC joint and track into the mid of the pec, okay? Okay, so we've got tension, 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 nothing. Smooth it down. Okay, so this is the point where if you're going to use the sternum guard, you'd apply it there and then you do the finish technique over the top. Otherwise, we're going to finish again there with some hyperfix. Okay, so again, you repeat the hyperfix strips from the start. So you want one long one, and right over the top. So measure it on your patient. Use your patient to help out. Again, staying away from the nipple area. Okay. And another couple of strips just to make sure you've got all the portions of your A and B tape fastened down. If you wanted to add a plastic guard to cover your AC joint, this is the point that you put it on, and then you'd apply another anchor over the top. And there we've got a completed derotational strapping technique.